Hello, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Alex Kendall, and today I'm going to be talking about some work on geometric loss functions for camera pose regression with deep learning. And this is joint work with Roberto Cipolla from the University of Cambridge. So the problem we're addressing is trying to estimate a camera's position and orientation in 3D space from a single image. Uh, this follows on from some work we presented in ICCV in 2015 uh, called PoseNet, which trained a deep learning model to try and predict a camera's position and orientation from a single image. Now this, uh, this model was trained with a sort of a naive loss function that was just a regression function trying to predict both position, x, and orientation as a quaternion with a weighting factor between them. Now the good thing about this model is because it uses deep learning features, they're able to capture context and be more robust to environmental changes, lighting, and these kind of things, and work in situations where point-based SIF registration will fail. It's also very fast, only taking a few milliseconds per image for inference of the network, and scales well, because when you get more training data, the size of the network remains constant, unlike uh, SIF-based structure for motion models, which won't scale like, uh, as well when you add more points into the model. But what are the problems? Well, unfortunately, the network uh, wasn't very tolerant to the weighting you provide between position and orientation. It also only gave us coarse relocalization accuracy, so it didn't register well enough for, uh, for very fine-grained metric localization for tasks like augmented reality. So in this work, we're trying to address these two concerns by introducing a loss function which uses geometry. So specifically, we're trying to use the 3D geometry of the scene to reproject this into 2D image space and try and train on that. And that's a, a way of naturally combining position and orientation into a single regression value. So we're taking the, the geometry and reprojecting to the image, and this can be sort of related to a, a deep learning version of bundle adjustment, where we're trying to, in a differentiable way, um, train on that reprojection error into 2D image space. We show our results on a few data sets. Firstly, Cambridge Landmarks. This is a, uh, this is a data set across small street scenes, uh, and it has 8,000 images from six uh, street level scenes. The second data set is Seven Scenes by Jamie Schotten et al., and that a, a, uh, has seven small indoor scenes. And then finally, probably the most challenging data set is the Dubrovnik data set, because it's over a, a, small, a small town in Europe, and it has images of a number of different camera types with different aspect ratios and taken from all different seasons and weather conditions. So across all three data sets, we show that training with a geometric reprojection loss improves over the, um, over the simple regression PoseNet baseline. And we, and, we, uh, and we significantly improve performance, perhaps not quite enough for the fine-grained localization accuracy, but it's definitely a, a clear advancement over, um, over the naive regression model. So this, um, when you start to compare these results to the results from SIF-based registration, we're not quite at the accuracy of the state-of-the-art methods, uh, such as the one I show here. However, it's, it's getting closer. The resolution, uh, it, the, the advantages of this method are also that it requires much smaller resolution than, uh, than SIF-based registration approaches because it uses shape and context, and the inference time is much faster. So moving forward, we're really interested in can we scale this method to beyond small, uh, small scenes but to whole cities, and can we really push it to that fine-grained localization accuracy to compete with SIF-based approaches. So I'd love to invite you all to come and discuss more at our poster. We have more results, including what to do if geometry isn't available and how you can train then, also on modeling uncertainty and on the different rotation representations uh, that we can use. There's a web demo which you're welcome to check out, and we have a tutorial tomorrow on large-scale localization. So thanks for your attention. Cheers.